Hello, ho, 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 it's Coach K here, just like I promised last night, uh, talking to you about the top three ways to have a successful cleanse. So I know it's Christmas Eve. <clears throat> I know tomorrow's Christmas. Forgive me, I am getting over cold. I want you to know that even when you are a healthier eater, you can still get sick. But if you do the right things, you will bounce back a lot quicker. And I only had about one and a half days where I was truly like not feeling 100%. Even then, it wasn't as terrible as it used to be. My goodness. Um, but that's not what we're here to talk about tonight. Tonight, we're going to talk about the top three ways to do a cleanse successfully. Now, I know you're saying, Coach K, tomorrow's Christmas Day. Why are you on me about my diet, though? Right? But I'm on you, first of all, because I love you, okay? I really do. Uh, and that's why I share the information that I share, even if sometimes it may sound a bit harsh. Believe me when I tell you it's coming from a place of love, okay? And I'm not trying to get you to change what you eat tomorrow, but I know that many of you are going to want a change in 2020 because why we do this every single January, Okay. But I don't want you to be discouraged and say, well, forget it. All is lost. I make this resolution or goal, intention or whatever every January, and I always fall off. So why even try? That is the devil, honey, okay? That's not of God. God would never tell you, just forget it. Just quit, right? He never quits on you, so you don't ever quit on you. What I want to do here is give you three ways. I could have given you 10, but I'm going to keep it simple with three ways to have a successful cleanse. Now, if you missed yesterday's video, I want you to go look for that. You can also catch it on my YouTube channel, which I will link um, in the comments once I'm finished here. I'll link that in the comments so that you can see what I talked about yesterday was, um, what was my topic from yesterday? I'm feeling all of 47 right now. I think it was about, oh, how to, why a cleanse is so important. Um, to jumpstart your health or how it can help you rather. So I gave you three tips on that yesterday. Very important because some people don't believe in cleansing. I'm a strong advocate. I lost weight 30 pounds and kept it off through cleansing. Um, and it, it really helped me out a lot. So I'm, I push it big time. And it's the primary thing I'm focused on for my business in 2020 as well. That's just how much I believe in it. So let's jump in with the top three ways to have a successful cleanse, okay? All right. Uh, first of all, if you've started a cleanse only to stop it, I want you to own that in the comments. Uh, you could say something like, I'm a starter and stopper. <laughs> Just comment and say that. Just admit it. That's actually one of the first steps. It's not in here, but it's one of the first steps to admit. Yeah, I, I, I start things and I stop things because you're not alone. There's a lot of us out there, including me. All right. So Here's the first way to have a successful cleanse, all right? I want you to think about getting married. For those of you who, who are married or got married, um, how much time did you spend planning the marriage versus the amount of time that you spent planning the wedding, right? We always want to get to the shiny part first. And so when it comes to a cleanse, the first thing people want to ask you is, what am I going to be eating? Um, do herbs come with this? What's in the herbs? People are uh, just fascinated with herbs, mostly because we are a pill popping generation. Okay. Uh, you know, we want to take a pill and everything is better and taking a pill. Honestly, I mean, it's easier if I could just take these herbs and flush my system and not have to do anything else, then yeah, I'm here for that but it requires so much more than that. And so I have to slow you down and tell you that instead of just saying, um, let me get these recipes, Coach K, let me get these herbs, I need you to spend time planning your healthy lifestyle. I need you to spend time visualizing yourself healthy and strong and able to run for your life if you had to and able to see yourself in different clothes and you know what would life look like if you had the energy to outrun your kids you know instead of like uh, being out of breath you know what i'm saying and knowing that you too doggone young for that mm. 
I've been there. My mother-in-law in her 60s was running circles around me. I would be like, I am wiped out because she had a really healthy diet. So she had tons of energy. Now this day, today, I think I can, I can kind of give her a run for her money a little bit, but there were years, trust me, where she outpaced me. So I had to have a really strong, why am I doing this? What am I doing this for? And what I want you to do as your top way, one of your top three ways to have a successful cleanse Read about what your body needs, honey. Watch health documentaries. I want you to weigh yourself. I know how hard it is. I want you to weigh yourself every day, but you do need to get a check, a reality check on where you are, okay? And then I want you to write down your goals. I don't care if you've done it before. I still want you to do it again. Write those goals down. So many people fall off. I see them daily because they don't take enough time to plan out their foundation. With every single one of my cleanses, I give a guidebook that explains why you're doing this, what part of the body you're cleansing, what, what, what that system in the body does, how it keeps you alive, and what you can do best to support it what foods nourish and support it. I give you a workbook that, that where you can take an assessment of this is how I'm feeling today. I have this rash on my skin or whatever. I can't sleep at night. I wake up every night from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. or whatever it is. You need to assess where you are and plan that foundation. And I'm going to be honest with you. Most people don't do it. They just don't, man. Week one, is your pre-week really. Before you change anything in the kitchen, before you start taking a single herb, you need to plan your foundation, okay? We're gonna keep talking about that because it's really bathed in all three of these points. Let's move on to the second one because I don't wanna keep you too long, okay? I know some of us have very short attention spans. Coach K is aware. I'm a little lit tonight, y'all. I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, number two. The second way to have a successful cleanse, you make you a priority. Listen, I don't know how many women I know. I'm not saying the fellas don't have a problem with this, but I'm a female, so I'm gonna talk to my ladies here. We don't make ourselves a priority. Cleansing is an act of self-love. Even your children can't come before your cleanse. Now, I have three kids, so I know how hard that is. However, I'm going to be honest with y'all, and this is going to surprise you. When I'm cleansing, I don't care what my family eats. I will uh, make them some random food and throw it in the fridge in advance. I will let them eat frozen pizza. Listen, poo, as my daughter says, that's her phrase, poo, and now we're all saying it. We, we like can't get away from it. But I don't care what they're eating because if I can't put my own mask on, I cannot help other people. And so I have to cut down, especially in those first days, on any temptation. I cannot be in that kitchen for long periods of time or I'm going to end up nibbling on whatever it is they're doing. And so many women don't take the time to say, I'm priority right now. Hey, family, gather round, okay? I am doing a cleanse. Some of you, you may not have family in the home, but you might need to tell your friends. Stop calling me. Don't ask me to go out to eat. I'm sorry. I know it's your birthday. I'm going to send you a card. I'm going to buzz through and buy you a drink. I can't stay. I can't be in this environment right now for me. You need to set boundaries around yourself to protect yourself so that you can do what you said you were going to do when you started that cleanse, okay? Now, this is not rocket science, and I'm not saying that it is, all right? I'm just sharing with you what I have personally done and what I've seen other people do who are successful and what I've seen other people do who are not so successful, okay? They took their eyes off the prize. That's not even one of the three but you take your eyes off the prize, <clears throat> you didn't make you a priority, and next thing you know, you're under the wagon and now you're feeling like a failure. Oh my gosh, I, I invested in this cleanse or I committed to do this cleanse and now here I am not doing it. You took your eyes off. All right, the third thing is, all right, uh, create systems. You gotta have a system. You gotta have a regimen in place. Now, it needs to be something that works well for you, but it could also be something that's within, you find a system or somebody's program or whatever that really resonates with you. And then you make that system work for you and you put it in place. So I'm gonna give an example of something really simple for me. 
my refrigerator has to be cleaned out. My kitchen has to be clean. And I have to have good storage containers so that I can meal prep with ease. Because contrary to popular belief, I don't just love being in the kitchen like y'all think I do. I do it because I need to for myself, for my body, for my pocketbook, et cetera. So I need the kitchen to be clean, okay? I need to have containers to store things in so that I can get my meal prep done in a timely fashion and quickly and get in and out. And when Tuesday comes, Wednesday, whatever, I know what I'm having. It's already prepared. Um, I have my snacks ready to go when I leave. And some of you are falling down because you're not taking the time to figure out what is my system and then put that system in place. So let's recap. Let's do a quick recap here. All right, top three ways to have a successful cleanse. Number one, you spend more time planning the marriage than the wedding. More time laying your foundation. That includes even your spiritual foundation, which is a big part of my cleanse programs. Getting your mind ready. That's what week one is about. Before you change anything, getting your mind ready, reading, studying, researching, knowing why you're doing this, writing things down and journaling what you're doing. The second, make you a priority, period. I don't care if you gave birth to them. It is more important that you take care of you before you can take care of other people. And some of you need to look yourselves in the mirror every day and say, I am my priority. So that it's easier for you to look at those little crumb snatchers and say, not today. I am making me a priority, okay? We love them. And I'm not saying that you don't, but I am saying that it's very possible you won't be here as long to be with them if you don't make your own health a priority. Okay, third, create systems. Have a regimen in place, know what you're doing and when you're doing it and how you're going to do it. You have to have systems in place that work for you. Some of you, it could be as simple as having a countertop that is just yours with your little stuff for your little smoothie assembly line every morning. But when you don't have the right system and you come in the kitchen and everything is all over the place and, oh, where's the recipe that Coach K told me to use? and I can't find a container to put the smoothie in after I make it and I'm out of Ziploc bags. Listen, I don't care what it is. All of that also goes into step one. You take the time to build your foundation, which includes determining your system and the regimen that's going to work for you. And I promise you, if you implement these three things in prayer, there is absolutely no way that you cannot be successful. Okay. All right, so if you have suggestions around something else you want me to talk about in terms of cleanses, please do let me know. What I am thinking about right now is my next topic. Holy Ghost, bring it back to me because it just left me. I think that where we should go from here um, is talking about basically how to get started, something like that. But <laughs> that is subject to change, and I'm not even going to apologize for that, okay? As the spirit moves, I will give you another title on that. And I will be back on the 26th, the day after Christmas, is when I'll do the next talk with your tips, okay? For now, I need everyone who is even the slightest bit interested in cleanses to go to caraashburn.com slash cleanses and buy your 2020 cleanse while it's $20.20, please. This was a $200 program. I am clearing all of this out. I don't know what I might do in 2020, might be the same, might be different, but for right now, you can get all of the cleanses. That's the first one is on your colon. The colon is the foundation of good health, is your gut. If you are constipated, if you don't poop every single day, basically two times a day is when you should be doing it. Um, if you struggle with a lot of bloating around your stomach and your gut, you need a gut cleanse, sweetie. That's where you start, okay? After that, we do our parasite candida cleanse. If you struggle with a, as a female with a lot of um, yeast infections, if you have heavy sugar cravings all the time that just no matter what your carb eating is out of control, you need a parasite cleanse, all right? If you struggle with um, you know, your kidneys or your lymph system, if you are constantly getting sick, and you are, um, every cold that comes along, you get it. Your lymph system is probably congested and you could use a lymph cleanse, all right? The Kidney Lymph Refresh Program is also $20.20 for a full 30-day program with all the meal plans. The only thing you have to do is get your herbs every quarter. And the fourth one is love your liver. 
Your liver loves you so much that it keeps you alive. And if you've ever had a loved one in the hospital, like I did a few years ago, and the doctor said his liver shot, that's it. You don't come back from that. Your liver flushes out everything that comes in and tries to kill you. Your liver takes that bad boy, scrubs it, and eliminates it. And if your liver is not working properly, you're not going to be here much longer. And so flushing your liver out is very important as well. All right. So I want you to go to carashburn.com slash cleanses. Check those out. Each cleanse is $20 and 20 cents or you can bundle and get all four for $70. And you will also get a nice binder in the mail to put all of your materials in. That's really, really nice. I don't have it handy. I'll show it to you. Maybe I will tomorrow night. But above all, just do something, okay? Do something, whether you do it with me or you do it with someone else. Make 2020 your year to really make changes. It's the year of vision, 2020 vision. I can see clearly now, and I want the same thing for you, okay? With that being said, listen. I love y'all, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Have a good night. Bye.